Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Electronic Harassment Parent Coalition of Palm Springs, California. As you can see from the new logo I just made, um, we needed an update, so I sat down today and updated what we needed to to make the blog look a little different, a little happier, a little, you know, something with a little more impact. So if you like it, let us know. I kind of liked it. I thought it looked pretty good. So um, other than that, we wanted to uh, once again let everybody know how proud we are of uh, Colton Hayes. Um, he's done really, really good stuff. Uh, he's the first four day in a row celebrity we've ever had. And you know something? Everybody will say, oh, it's just because you think he's so handsome and all this other stuff. It really, it yes to all of that, but he, he is actually a really, really good guy. And, you know, I guess I saw some stuff online that, that people were giving him guff about something. But you know what? You have to see the guy do what he does. You have to see the effort that he makes. You have to see the kind of calmness that he has and the kind of dignity he has that he deals with who he is and how he plans on dealing with the gay community. And I think it's really, really nice to have seen that and uh, have displayed that at such an early age, you know, where he's doing what he's doing and he just got his first, you know, or second major movie. And, you know, he's excited and the guy's gotta be having like the best week of his entire life. So, you know what, sometimes if a person's having a great week, maybe it's just better to add to it than it is to take away from it. So. That's just my opinion. Um, if you've been watching the blog, you know that I've been trying to explain the difference between um, electronic harassment and organized stalking. And a lot of people don't really get that. Um, the difference is because uh, we've all called this electronic harassment before, but the, uh, the gang stalking part of it, where a lot of people are following you everywhere, on planes, on trains, um, in your car, to work, um, on the bus, everywhere. Um, is done in person, but the electronic harassment part of it is like having surveillance done from the inside of you. And I've tried to illustrate to you guys what the difference is. Um, in Palm Springs, we have a huge problem with the gang stalking part. In fact, there's been a couple of people that have contacted me in the last, probably, well, I have one that contacts me all the time, and then I have another guy that contacts me every once in a while now. But these are good people. These are people that like aren't child molesters or registered sex offenders or this one's an attorney and one works in the entertainment industry so it's just one of these things where it's like look i don't understand what you people are getting out of this or why you think it is you need to go following people around but i've explained on the blog now that these street level people that do this kind of street theater they call it because they're really just there to follow people around it's not like they're there to go buy their groceries or ride the bus for real. They're just there to follow a person and make them feel uncomfortable. Um, these people are doing what's called stalking. And if you want to put the two of them together, if you want to call electronic harassment one side of a coin and you want to call um, organized stalking the other side of the coin, it's two sides of the same coin. They go hand in hand. Because once a target like myself has been implanted with one of these chips, they follow them around. And what happens is, is there's an operator on the other end of the computer, just like I'm sitting right here talking to you, that's seeing what I'm thinking, where I'm going, what I'm doing. And then they direct these street level people to go follow this person around and make them feel intimidated. It's, um, cause, it's called cause stalking. And if you want to put them both together on the same coin, we call it a cause stalking because the operators of the system have some sort of cause that they're following this person around for. Now, what the operators that tell these street level people to do is to follow this person because he's dangerous or he's a drug dealer or she's you know a molester or she's a child pornographer or something like this and then these street level people honestly think that they're like vigilantes working for the police department or working for the government or working the government doesn't work that way and i worked for the the department of justice and i'm telling you right now if you're one of these people that goes out and follows these people around or drives by their house at all hours of the night, you need to stop because we know who you are. And if we find you, and we probably will, you could get charged with a crime. It's called stalking, and you can't do that for somebody. What you need to understand is these operators that are getting in touch with you saying that they work for the police department or the government or anybody like that are lying to you. It's not the truth. 
There is nobody out there that is going to say, I know what this person is doing, so we have to keep an eye on them. If you've got a problem with somebody, call the police. If you think something's happening and you have proof, call the police. You don't need to go following them around in your car because it's dangerous for you, but it's more dangerous for them. And odds are they're not doing anything that you think that they are. And then they get mad and you've got this little intimidation thing going and you're thinking, hey, I'm really getting to this person. Well, if somebody was following you, they'd be getting to you too. So just a little word to the wise, everybody. Don't take this on yourself. Because if you start following me around, I'm going to get the police and my investigators to follow you home, and then we're going to have you charged. Got it? All right, everybody. Have a terrific day. Um, congratulations again to um, Britney Spears, who's a friend of ours. And we wanted to let her know she, her performance the other night at the VMAs was just out the, out the window good. And uh, as you can see on the blog right now, I'm featuring g Easy, who's a friend of hers and a really great guy and a friend to the gay community. So I just wanted everybody to know that that's what we're doing right now. I hope you understand the difference between gang stalking and electronic harassment because it's all part of one crime called cause stalking. All right. I hope everybody has a terrific day and I'll see you soon.